Hi guys, this is Wizard1 from Red Flag Deals bringing you another unboxing and do-it-yourself video on making your own smart switch. So instead of spending maybe like $25 to $30 on something like these Wi-Fi switches that you can buy from a regular place, uh, you can go on multiple places like Alibaba, Gearbest, and other places like that that sell these sewn-off basic uh, switch is here for around five dollars US and it's much cheaper obviously than buying a uh, Brand name one. So in this video, we're going to show you how to actually make one of these and hopefully uh, Set it up for you too. Um, be aware. I actually tried setting these up before I, I I did manage to make one of them properly, but for some reason it does have a little issue sometimes on connecting properly, but I uh, will try that out anyways so inside, we basically have a startup manual or setup menu in English and in Chinese. Basically, the only thing you really need to set it up is going to be um, this part here, but I'll show you how to do the actual building of this thing. I already built one of them, as I mentioned before, that works right now. So um, you can listen to me, see if Alexa picks me up. Alexa. Turn on tester. Okay. And now it's on. Alexa, turn off tester. Okay. So you can see that it is working. You, oh, obviously you can't see it, but you can hear that Alexa is picking it up and uh, doing that. So let's show you how this sets up. So you basically take off these two covers first and you end up with this here on each end. So note that uh, you can see here's a neutral and a line. So those are the ones you want to be careful of. So I bought this because this right now is really cheap at uh, Walmart in Canada. It's $2 each for one of these right now. Uh, obviously for something like this, you want to work with dual line one that doesn't have a ground. So we'll take this out first. <coughs> So what you really want to do first of all is to basically cut this thing in half or you can cut it closer to the end, doesn't matter. Um, I made my other one directly in the middle of this. Uh, you can do wherever you feel like it. Uh, let me just measure this out and I'll do it in the middle. <clears throat> okay, so this is the middle. Get some wire cutters. Okay, we cut that now. So uh, be aware that the N is for neutral. So neutral is always <clears throat> for the, at least North American plugs. Neutral is always the one with the thicker or the fatter head. While the line is the, the live line is the one of the narrower head. I can't really focus. There you go. So you also notice on, on these flat cables that the one with the neutral typically has grooves. I'm not sure if you can see that. Focus. It has grooves go along the side here. While the regular one does not, it's usually a smooth line. Okay, so first of all, what you want to do after you do that is to strip the cable so that there's a little bit of the uh, the metal showing or the wire showing. Okay, so you have it like that. Make sure again you notice which part is the neutral and which one is the line, the live line. <clears throat> now it does come with some screws here which you'll need. Uh, first of all, you want to unscrew and loosen these two little contacts here because this is what holds the line in. Okay, so all you do really is, <clears throat> again, make sure which side you have. So this is the neutral side because it has the grooves on it. <clears throat> and 
and you basically just I like to twist it a little bit so it goes in more I guess more cleaner because if you don't want to fray some lines and and cause possible um, crossing of the lines or short circuit and you basically just okay, that one's not twisted enough yet okay and you basically just put them in like that <clears throat> just put them in and then once they're in hold it so that it doesn't move and then tighten it with a screw with the screwdriver okay so now it's pretty much tight in there but the one more additional thing they have here is extra screws here to tighten this on here because there's actually some alligator clip alligator teeth like things here on the top and bottom to hold the line so it doesn't move or fray okay so then you put the screws in here and basically while holding this tight hold it down so that the clips basically clamp onto, you can see it clamps onto the cable here. And then you just want to tighten that so that there is no give at all. Okay, so now that one side is really tight and will not move. Okay, super tight. And now we will do the same thing with the other end of of the cable so again when you do strip the cables don't do it too far end because if you do that it, there's very little clearance in there, so if you do it too long, what's going to happen is it's going to stick out, and you don't want that because you're going to want a chance of short circuiting the the cables, not letting the cable touch at all. So you got the cables again, again, neutral side, neutral side, and this is the smooth side, which is the line side. Again, we want to twist this so that it goes in cleanly into the two slots so I can just move this out of the way okay so again neutral is neutral there oh, I forgot to unscrew them so let me quickly unscrew them Okay. Okay, let's put them in. Okay, now that it's in, let's just screw one sec. Okay, make sure again it's screwed in tight so they don't the cable doesn't move. <clears throat> and then you want to get the cap. Make sure the cable is straight. And then do that there. And then quickly tighten it. Okay, so now the cable is made and done, so it's really tight, it's not going to loosen as well. So now next on, we're going to do the actual setup of the device. Okay, so now that it's plugged in, you can see that the light's blinking here, which meaning it is just in regular 
mode right now. It's not really doing anything. So all you do is you go to the um, Google Play Store. And you search for EWE Link. And that's basically the app you're going to install to control this and pair this. So I already have it installed already. So we'll just go in. You, you will need to create an account with them. Okay, so you just go open. So there's the one that I have set up already. Um, let's add this one here. So according to the, the instructions, you hold down. Let me just put this so you press down on this button here and it will put it into pairing mode. You have to hold it for five seconds. Okay, when it's blinking like that, that means it's pairing mode. So you do next. And now you set up your Wi-Fi information. So you have the Wi-Fi information there. You type it in. Next. And it should hopefully, so it detects the module and hopefully it registers. Um, I did, again, I mentioned at the very beginning of this, I did have problems getting this to work properly. It took me like half an hour to get this to work. I'm not sure why. Um, hopefully this time it will connect quickly. Okay, so sometimes if it can't connect directly, uh, you can follow the instructions here and collect directly to this. And then when you connect directly to this and enter this default password, it should set up. Okay, so we'll try that. Okay, so I'm connected now. So hopefully this works. There we go. First, you see that when it says first connect registering, that means it's working. So, damn it, it's stuck there. Okay, no, it's done. So, okay. So, complete. Please, God, work. Give it a second to detect, and it should be working now. Okay, so now that it's set up, let's give it a few seconds to connect to the internet. Okay, so you can see that it's now online. Once it goes solid, that basically means that it's connected now. So let's just, now, now let's just set it up on Alexa. So all you do is you go to here and you go to Smart Home. And now you add device and it should detect the sound off. Okay, so it's detected the the sewn off here. So all you do, you can see it, it's down here. Let's rename it to make things easier. Let's put this down. So I'll give it a sec to remember the name now. So let's get out of there. Let me plug something in to show you that it works. So I'll plug my charger here. Here's the end of this thing, okay? So we'll plug this into the actual phone itself. Okay, so this, okay. So if I just say, Alexa, 
turn on charger. Okay. Okay, you see it, char it starts charging right away. Well, not right away, but there's a small lag, but it's acceptable. Okay, Alexa, turn off charger. Okay. And you can see it, it's pretty responsive. Uh, the router is on the other side of the room, so the range is actually pretty good too. Um, yeah, so that's basically it for the first look and setup of the Sonoff basic Wi-Fi smart switch. As you saw, basically, there are good batches and bad batches. Out of this batch of six, maybe three of them have worked. Maybe I'll spend more time trying to link them up and make more of these cables, but out of the easiest ones to set up, I got three to work. Uh, if you have any questions and concerns regarding how to set the Sonoff basic Wi-Fi smart switch up, feel free to leave a comment or question in the section below, and I'll do my best to answer. Okay, so this has been Wizard One bringing you the the review of the Sonoff Basic Wi-Fi Smart Switch. Uh, one last thing I want to talk about is very, very important, and I hope you guys can help me out. Uh, basically, I just got an email from YouTube last night, basically stating that starting in February the twentieth, uh, they're cutting off all sponsorship or all advertising dollars for videos if they do not meet their requirements. So their requirements basically is accounts must have 4,000 hours of view within a year uh, time period, which I have more than enough of. However, uh, one other requirement they're having is that I need 1,000 subscribers or uh, I'm not going to qualify for their monetization for their videos and they're not going to give me basically any ad dollars for the videos I create. And the ad dollars, although I don't make a lot off the ad dollars, it does help with me to purchase more things for you guys to review. So please guys, spread the news with your friends and help me out. I need 1,000 subscribers by February. So please help me out. Tell your friends and family to subscribe to my channel. Uh, the benefit of that is that they'll see my reviews and they'll get notifications whenever new videos are posted. All right, thanks for watching and have a great night.